See, they just jump right over your defenses, which is unfortunate. But, you know. See, now this guy shouldn't be too much. He's gonna jump over a potato mine, but as long as I throw down another pea shooter, he's gonna die anyway. Or, or maybe not. Okay. Oh, I guess he did. Alright. <laughs> my plants are very haphazard right now. I've got my usual, like, need rows there. My walnut in the defensive position there, which is what I set out to do. And then I've got, like, a sunflower and another walnut, walnut just over here. I guess we'll throw a third pea shooter there. Oh snap, this is where we're getting a bunch of zombies. Nice. Aha! Alright. So I don't use this one a lot, because... I don't know, I just don't like it. But I will use it for this first one. It is the Snow Pea. Shoots frozen peas that slow them down and do damage, so that's nice. I don't know, it's like almost 200 sun for that, though, is the thing. Which is why I usually don't use it. Hey, do you think when the snow peas get cold, they have to wear a pea coat? Pow. <clears throat> See, like, I'm probably gonna put a snow pea in, like, the second row of my <laughs> attack. Oh. <clears throat> Take care of that guy. Oh, I meant to plant him in the row that the potato mine was on, but my bad. Oh well. We'll still be covered. There we go. Set pow. Oh, I dragged my screen. I didn't want to do that. Alright, take care of that guy's stupid pole vaulting shenanigans early. Alright, we'll throw down a snow pee on him, I guess. See, slows him down. I'm not saying the slow effect isn't nice, but again, I don't find it worth it for all the longer it takes to build up one of them. Recording's getting choppy all of a sudden. Huh. Weird. Hmm. 
Might as well start throwing down my walnuts. We're just gonna take this guy out at the legs early there. Sud pow. You know, just for fun, we'll use another snow pea. You see that potato mine's toast, yeah. We'll throw our walnut there. Oh, I forgot that wasn't going to be so much of an issue. See, the nice thing is, he has like multiple uses as a little obstacle for them to jump over too. This is going pretty simply. Hmm, see what else I can do here. Um, huge wave of zombies is approaching. Let's throw down another pea shooter. Well, I would put a mine in front of him, but I don't really have time for it. I'm gonna throw a cherry bomb right in the middle of all of that madness. the chomper. That's what this next one is here, and it is wonderful. I like it a lot. Devours a zombie whole, but is vulnerable while chewing. Yeah. It also looks like those plants that eat you in Crash Bandicoot. So. Oh, bucket heads. Bucket heads are even more durable than the, uh, I lost my train of thought. Bucket heads are more durable than the uh, cone heads. That's what I like. <clears throat> I liked its little dying brains at the end there.
Oh, a bucket head. Or not a bucket head, a cone head. <clears throat> when a bucket head shows up, I think I'm just gonna throw down a chopper and show what they do. Oh, crud. I might have to throw down a chopper here in a second. I forgot that one pea shooter isn't exactly adequate when it comes to dealing with a uh, cone head. Alright. And we're gonna throw him down over here. Yeah, it takes them some time to chew, but you can usually solve that problem with a relatively simple solution. Just throw a walnut in front of him. So the thing about the early levels that, well, as much fun as they are, just learning the game and stuff, I already get setups for how I want things to go, like, but I usually don't have enough zombies coming at me for me to actually get set up all the way, because once I get chompers and stuff, what I usually like to have is like two pea shooters, the sunflowers in the back, a chomper, and then a walnut. Essentially what this row is, except without the weird gap right there, but I'm just going to throw another pea shooter in front of. And this, this row right here, this row right here is horribly undermanned. I like the repeater a lot too. Because this one, I think its extra sun cost is worth it. it shoots two pieces of time.